In this video, we're going to talk about a very important subject. We're going to talk about all the playback options offered in Guitar Pro 6. Most of these options are going to be found in the transport bar, which is found right underneath your score. It's from the transport bar that you'll be able to start a song. You can also start a song by using the space bar on your keyboard. Quick access to the first and the last measure of your score and also the rewind and fast forward buttons which allow you to scroll from measure to measure. The transport bar also allows you to set certain sections of your score to loop. This can be a very useful tool if you're working on a difficult guitar lick and you want to loop it and slow it down. Let's take for example this score. I'm going to select a certain section and click on the play and loops button. Several looping options are offered. The first one is a simple loop that's simply going to repeat this section over and over. The second option is also going to repeat the section over and over, but this time, each time the section plays, it's going to increase in speed. To do this, we need to start by entering the range and percentage of the speed we want to work with. In this example, our main tempo is 110 beats per minute, and if we start it at 50%, our loop will start at a tempo of 55 beats per minute. Then we need to enter the tempo at which we want our loop to end. Usually this is going to be 100%, which will correspond to the main tempo of our score. Notice that it is also possible to end your loop faster than the original score. The stage allows you to set the increase in speed each time the loop is played. All these looping options are going to take into consideration the main tempo of your score. This tempo can be changed by clicking on the button found on the top left of your project. You can also click the tempo button found on the right side of the transport bar. These buttons are going to open the automation editor window. We'll talk more about the automation window in a future video. For now we're going to concentrate on the tempo option found here. The label allows you to indicate which type of tempo we're dealing with. Notice that it is possible to enter your own text. The unit allows you to select which type of note you're going to assign to the tempo value you'll enter right underneath. If you're unsure as to which tempo value to use, you can simply tap that tempo with your mouse. Notice that it is possible to enter more than one tempo for the same score. To do this, simply select the measure you wish to enter the new tempo and enter the correct values. On the right side of this tempo icon, you'll be able to quickly speed up or speed down your track at a predetermined value. This option can be very useful if you're writing two harmonized tracks and you want to quickly hear if those tracks work well together. Last but not least, the metronome options are found on the left side of the main tempo icon. This is where you can activate the metronome and the countdown. 